Queen's will is out, so what did each member of the royal family inherit from late Queen Elizabeth? Let's begin with the notorious Prince Harry. So, what did Prince Harry inherit from Queen Elizabeth? Representatives told Forbes in 2021 that Harry was not a beneficiary of any of the $100 million left to the royal family by his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother. However, after the death of his mother, Princess Diana, Harry and William inherited part of their mother's estate on their 25th birthdays, which was around $10 million each, according to Forbes. In a CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey and his wife in March 2021, Harry revealed that he used his trust from his mother to support him and his family after his father, Prince Charles, cut him off financially at the start of 2020 following Harry and Meghan's exit from the British royal family and moved to the United States. I had to afford security for us, Harry said at the time. I was cut off in the first quarter of 2020, but I've got what my mom left me, and without that, we would not have been able to do this. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. According to U.S. Weekly, though Diana's will stated that her estate would be distributed to William and Harry when they turned 25, the funds were held until they were 30. Despite the hold, the brothers were still able to receive interest on their trust funds. While Harry and William were the chief heirs of Diana's estate, the People's Princesses will also listed others with whom she wanted to share her wealth, including her butler, Paul Beryl as well as 17 of her godchildren, according to Worthy. So what did Meghan Markle inherit from Queen Elizabeth? Representatives told Forbes in 2021 that Harry was not a beneficiary of any of the $100 million left to the royal family by his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother. Radar Online confirmed that in September 2022, reporting, there's a very good chance the Queen won't leave either of them any jewels of value, a source said. It's not surprising since they're not members of the royal family anymore, but it would be a real slap in the face. Radar Online also reported that Meghan's sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, who was set to inherit $110 million in jewellery from the Queen, will likely pass some of her jewels to their niece because she and her husband, Prince William, really don't want Lil Bet to be left out. As for Meghan, she's not their concern, the insider added. As for why the Queen left Meghan out of her inheritance, Radar Online speculated that it could be due to either practicality or Harry and Meghan's drama with the British royal family. In the years leading up to the Queen's death, some people think it won't be out of spite but practicality, the insider said. Others say it would be the Queen sending a message to Meghan and Harry, you reap what you sell. So what did Prince Andrew inherit from Queen Elizabeth? BBC reported in September 2022 that Andrew and Sarah Ferguson inherited two of the Queen's corgis, Mick and Sandy, who Andrew and his daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie, gave to the Queen as a present in 2021. The corgis will return to live at Royal Lodge with the Duke and Duchess. It was the Duchess who found the puppies, which were gifted to Her Majesty by the Duke, a source told BBC at the time. The Duchess bonded with Her Majesty over dog walking and riding horses, and even after her divorce, she would continue her great friendship with Her Majesty by walking the dogs in Frogmore and chatting. So what did Princess Anne inherit from Queen Elizabeth? According to I-24 News, Princess Anne, as well as her brothers Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, inherited a share of the sovereign grant, which is now owned by their oldest brother, King Charles III. Though the exact amount of her share isn't known, some reports also believe that Princess Anne received a new royal title given her prominence in the events leading up to the Queen's funeral in September 2022. 